Hello everyone, in this short video I'm going to talk about how to install the latest Android Studio version. So please uh, just locate your page to developer Android.com slash studio and find the page Android Studio and you will see the button download Android Studio. So you just press this button, uh, download, you have to be agree with a term and condition. I have written agree with above terms and conditions. And download Android Studio Hedgecock 2023 11 patch 1 for Windows. And downloading will start. So meantime, you can read about uh, system requirements. Uh, the system requirements uh, important to know if your uh, computers uh, are capable to run Android Studio properly. So note, Windows machine uh, machines with ARM-based CPUs are not currently supported. So basically, if you're going to talk about CPU, uh, you have to use um, x86-64 CPU architecture, a second generation Intel Core newer, or AMD CPU with support of Windows. Recommended the latest Intel Core processor for the best performance. So, operating system. Talking about Windows, 64-bit uh, Microsoft Windows. Uh, the latest 64-bit version of the Windows recommended. RAM recommended is 16 uh, GB RAM or more. Uh, disk space, you need to have a solid from 8 to 16 GB or more space in your computer. That's important. If you have less than this amount, uh, you will not be able to run program, you will not be able to run emulator, etc. And screen resolution. Uh, from 1280 by 800, uh, recommended 1920 to uh, 1080. So also some recommendations for other uh, operating systems such as Mac. Uh, you can read about this if you have uh, Apple Macintosh, or maybe you have a Linux. Uh, it's also a different explanation here uh, on this website. Just feel free to check your operating system requirements. So go back and it looks like uh, we fin the, prod uh, the uh, package will be ready in 30 seconds. Okay, so we uh, can run Android Studio uh, installer and follow instructions. You see installer will start uh, running and you will get a message here, a message, do you want to allow this application to make changes? You answer yes. Uh, welcome to Android Studio Setup. Next. So you have to choose all components, Android Studio, Android Virtual uh, Device, and press Next. And you agree with uh, default uh, Android Studio installation location in Program Files, Android, Android Studio. Install. Right, it's completed, installation complete, press next. Uh, Android Studio has been installed in your computer, uh, click finish to close setup, but uh, keep it start Android Studio. All right, so Android Studio is coming. Uh, yeah, since I have a previous project from the previous Android Studio version, I see project from the previous classes. Uh, you probably don't have it. Uh, you will start with new project. Uh, click this button. And this button gives you some templates for phones and tablet. Empty activity, basic activity, bottom navigation use activity, MP views activity, navigation drawer, etc. So for this purpose, uh, for our course, we will start with empty views activity. So please uh, choose uh, this uh, template and press next. Uh, project. Since it will be a new project, we will start a new project with, uh, for example, my hello app, because it's a new project. So package name. Package name is important uh, as following. So if you uh, start to doing uh, students assignment, exercise and project, it is required in the central part of the package, type your student 
number. For example, if you come, if you come up with a package name com dot student number my hello application, uh, middle area always need to be with student number. You can always make a, my hello application on the right side if you want to write something like this. Uh, uh, my hello app. Uh, that will be also a uh, correct uh, package name. As soon as you uh, hard coded your student number inside the package name, hopefully it's understandable. Uh, save location. This is location where your uh, project will be saved. Um, this is the language we use in Kotlin. And minimum SDK, uh, yeah, it uh, could be anything, but we will uh, stick with minimum SDK uh, 24. So your application with API 24 will cover approximately 96.3% of the devices. A build configuration language, uh, we don't really change it. We can stick with the Kotlin DSL. And press finish. So for the first time, it may take some time because uh, still some unzipping uh, should be done. Then you press finish. So we have a new Android Studio Hedgehog version. It's uh, recently updated. Uh, it's built on December 26, 2023. So we have to wait until a system will build the project. On the right uh, low corner, you see here Gradle build, means a project still in the process to be built. It can take some time, maybe a couple of minutes uh, to build the first project because a lot of uh, downloading still happened. So please be patient for the first uh, uh, project run. It might take five minutes and more. And yeah, so one is completed, um, you uh, have to see that on the upper level that run button should turn green and uh, sometimes sync is required, sync is taking a significant amount of time to download dependencies. You can open sync tool windows for details if you want, you, you can see what's happening in the background. Then finally, build is successful. You have a message, build successful in two minutes, 45 seconds. It's pretty fast for the first time. So uh, the second thing is you need to come up with the emulator. The emulator is necessary when you use to run your project. So you can uh, find here device manager on the right uh, middle corner. I already have one emulator, Pixel API 27. Uh, from the previous, I can show you how to create a new emulator as well and uh, create a new one by pressing a plus button. So here you can find uh, some nice um, device definition. I would recommend to try a, a Pixel XL. Uh, press next. I already have a Pixel API uh, Oreo 26 available. You don't need to download the latest version. You can go with, for example, Oreo 27 and press next. And uh, yeah, just you can rename the Pixel API 27, whatever you want to have here. Um, and just specify the name of the API. And uh, some other features with orientation with the uh, emulate performance, you don't need it right now, just press finish. Both emulator are right now connected. Let's run the project. So when we run the project, uh, the emulator selected in this window is a Pixel API 27 that was created before, but it doesn't really matter which one will be used in this case. So we have to wait when a device uh, will be uh, launched. And application with uh, Hello World will be uh, uh, displayed in the uh, device emulator. It may also take some time for the first uh, for the first case. So meantime, you can see the project content. Uh, what is new here? Um, this is your Kotlin and Java folder, and this is your layout folder. 
So we will talk about this uh, momentarily when we uh, when we run the project. So since uh, yeah, I don't see any uh, any any changes right now, I probably have to select and, and try again to launch device. Yeah, and the device right now coming and it's ready right now. You can expand it. Uh, yeah, obviously it, it, this is successful. You see the result is successful. Hello world is displayed in the middle of the screen. So this application should be uh, run before any other applications. Uh, before proceeding this course, so first of all, if you um, if you close this application, close project, you should be able to pick up this project from the list of the project you already have. In my case, you see, I always do also able to pick it up and run again. Sometimes you have some messages. Uh, yeah, they're not really significant at this point, but make sure that you can close project and reopen again. So it works uh, a little bit about content. So since we're using Android use activity, we have uh, one class main activity and connected it through the send content view r.layout.activity main. What is this? Uh, set content view will be connecting uh, your uh, current activity to template in resources layout activity main. So where to find this file? So you see here on the left side, it's res, then go layout and activity main XML. So double click on that activity main XML, you will receive the template for the project you currently have. You can increase it. And like, let's say we want to change right now the, the text here. So how to change the text? Oh, well, that's uh, pretty easy, just switch to the code and uh, change here the text, because text is hard-coded here. You uh, simply change to hello my world and go back to design. And uh, yeah, if you run the project again, you will see the changes. And finally, maybe you can play a little bit with, with the property of the text view. When you double click on the uh, property text view, you will be able to change, for example, you'll be able to change properties for this particular element. On the right side, you have uh, attributes here. So if you press attributes, you will be able to find uh, all the attributes for the hello world. Let's say we have to change the, you want to change the size here. We press here, search, size, and text size is 14 single pixels. You can get here, for example, 20, and the text will be expanded, right? Also, you can change the color if you want, uh, text color. Text color is black right now. You can play with that as well, and you can assign new color as well. So this is was how to change uh, text to property. So yeah, if you click here on the uh, outside of the text, on the layout, you'll be interested, for example, to change background color. You go to attributes, and uh, right now we're working with background. Also can change, uh, check background here. Then you can select background here. And the ground will be changed according to your to your needs, right? So try to play a little bit with this. And closing this, rerun the project. So running the project should be uh, should reflect the recent changes for the application. Okay, so yeah, you can start uh, change rotating, flipping phone if you want. Uh, you see everything is stable. So yeah, it was a brief uh, video how to install Android Studio and how to run a Hello World application. If you have any questions uh, or you have any problem with running this application, please let me know. Thank you so much.